Hello everyone and welcome back to this new video. Today I will show you how to manipulate process images in Node.js. For this we will be using Gem module. Gem is a JavaScript image manipulation program which is an image processing library for Node.js written entirely in JavaScript with zero external or native dependencies. I consider Gem the best image processing or manipulation program because it is efficient and easy to use module. Also, it provides a lot of features like resizing images, cropping, scaling, and adding effects. You can install this module by using this command that is npm install save gym. So now let's get started. This is my directory with app.js and I will be using this image to process it that is resizing or etc. So first let's, in let's include the module. Read function reads the image and it accepts parameter which is the path of the image file. So here it is image.jpg and then the callback. with the parameter image so a basic example like resizing an image so image dot resize so let's say give it a size to 256 by 256 if we want uh, the quality to um, quality like uh, 80 and then finally we can write this file and the parameter would be uh, the new file name. So here we can give new file dot jpg. That's all. And one more thing, it also set uh, uh, one more parameter that is error. So if there is an error, we can just print it. else now let's run it so here it is the new file which is basically scaled to the 256 by 256 resolution so if we want to uh, m uh, maintain the scaling we can set the width or height to gym dot auto that means it will scale uh, properly so for example if we want to set the width to 256 we can set uh, the uh, height to gym dot auto so now what it did was the width was 256 and it uh, automatically scaled the height to 144 pixels in order to maintain the aspect ratio So basically in this uh, dot read function it can accept even the local images, a buffer or an image from the URL. So this was a basically a callback pattern and if we want to use promises uh, here it is way. Same goes over here gym dot read dot uh, jpg. or here it goes the error just remove these comments and it worked fine so there are more functions that we can use on the images and the first can be considered as just let me remove this as well as the comments like for example we can use contain function well uh, contain function is used when we want to image uh, to scale to a given width and height and some of the parts may be uh, letterbox or black 
so instead we can uh, re instead of resize we can use uh, contain and the resolution we want let's say for example 256 by 256 and run it oops there is an error occurred there Sorry for the spelling mistakes. So this was the image. The size of the uh, basically image is 256 by 256. Here it is, and yes. So the next function we can use is cover. Cover is used when we want the image to a given width and height, and some parts of the image may be automatically clipped to cover the resolution. This can be very useful for the uh, thumbnail purposes. Like for example, uh, dot cover two fifty six by two fifty six. So this is the image, or if we want to reduce the resolution, like one twenty eight by one twenty eight, which is basically according to you or needs. So now next comes the scale function. Well, scale can be used when we want to scale the image to a given factor, like for example half, twice, thrice, etc. So instead we just need to remove this and say scale. For example, if I want to scale the image to half of the resolution, so I can put 0 0.5. Run it again. So the new file uh, would be the half of its resolution. Yes, here it is. Six eighty three by three eighty four. Or basically twice would be two. Here it is the dimension, which is almost twice. We can also crop the image from a particular uh, point to a particular width and height using crop function. So instead we just need to remove this crop, the x and y, like for example we want to uh, co crop it from 0, 0, resolution and the width and height let's say uh, 500 by 512. So here it is. We can also add effects like uh, posterize, sepia, etc. So uh, image dot just remove this, and we can say posterize or sepia. Now this is the image, or we can use posturize. Let's say twenty. Run it again. And so here is the image with the posturize effect. So this was some of the basic yet useful function that can be used for images uh, in your websites and it can be uh, combined with the batch processing function that I earlier posted in my channel which you can uh, watch a link would be given in the description. So this was our today's video and if you like my video you can just give it a like or if you have any suggestions or anything you can just mention in it in the comments and do subscribe my channel for new videos thanks for watching